one thing about putting in solar systems, you meet the nicest people in the world and the nicest places in the world. Generally, the people that are putting in solar systems are those that also have some care for the environment and are gener generally people that care for many things, other people and etc. <laughs> These birds are happy. And so these are one of the, the advantages of being in the solar, uh, doing a solar installation, is that you get to see places like this. Okay, this ground mount system is on a hillside. So we're waiting for the, the cement truck, and there's the deer. I've never seen a deer wag their tail before, but this one wagged its tail. Tapping off this um, breaker, this uh, sub-panel here, and it's a back-fed breaker because uh, the solar system will first power the garage and then the rest of the house. Service can never exceed its uh, rated capacity because the um, solar system uh, at most is going to, to produce the, the same energy that will be needed by the garage. It'll never draw either way more than its rated capacity. And this is the inverter, a 7 kilowatt uh, Sunny Boy inverter, one of the best on the market, with an enclosed uh, and attached um, uh, disconnect. There's the performance meter, <clears throat> and there's the AC disconnect. So all these uh, go, this is the, the essence of the solar system that wire goes out to the DC to DC panels so that that's the DC wire there <coughs> in that in that um, in that cha in that in that one conduit and so we we put this uh, this conduit you know comes out of the wall there there was no other way to do it but to, to come out there and then it goes down at a 45 degree angle into the ground and and under here to a um, pull box there and then up uh, to the these to the panels where the panels are going to be, and that's the that's where the that's the where the DC wiring is going to to occur when all the panels when the cement goes in and all of the ground rods are in place and all of the uh, pro solar uh, gear is in place then the panels will be wired and that's where the wiring will occur and the DC wiring will come down through there and the power will come through here into the garage 
into the inverter and DC and then out of and on this side and then it'll come out on that side the AC side and then into the AC disconnect and then into the box and then if there's no uh, power used in this garage on the sub panel it'll power the rest of the house out here and then if it doesn't if the house isn't using any power then it'll go through the main to the PG&E uh, main uh, service and actually the meter will go backwards